Warren Buffett's poignant observation highlights a stark reality for many Americans, where the promise of the American dream has turned into a nightmare for a significant portion of the population. The statistic that 58% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck underscores the pervasive financial strain faced by a vast majority of individuals and families across the country. This means that nearly two-thirds of the people you pass by in a grocery store are grappling with the harsh reality of struggling to meet their financial obligations and barely managing to afford basic necessities like groceries. This distressing situation is not limited by geographical boundaries. It is a widespread issue that impacts communities and individuals from coast to coast. Despite living in one of the world's wealthiest nations, a considerable portion of the American population finds themselves in a precarious financial position, where even minor disruptions or emergencies can have devastating consequences. Addressing this challenge requires a holistic approach that encompasses economic policies, social safety nets, and a shift in societal norms to ensure that the American dream remains attainable for all. The correlation between financial status and income isn't always straightforward. It's fascinating to note that there are cases where people, despite having low-paying jobs and the responsibility of supporting a family, have successfully grown substantial savings. These individuals demonstrate remarkable financial acumen and discipline, utilizing every resource at their disposal to invest wisely and manage their finances prudently. Their ability to prioritize expenses, save diligently, and seek out opportunities for growth highlights the importance of mindset and strategy in wealth accumulation. Conversely, there are those who earn significant incomes, sometimes surpassing six figures annually, yet struggle to make ends meet. This situation often arises due to lifestyle choices, such as overspending, accumulating debt, or failing to invest wisely. Despite their high earnings, they find themselves living paycheck to paycheck, trapped in a cycle of financial instability. Warren Buffett's journey serves as a prime example of how wealth can be built from humble beginnings. Starting with relatively modest resources, Buffett's dedication to investing coupled with his shrewd decision-making and long-term perspective propelled him to become one of the wealthiest individuals in the world. His story underscores the importance of frugality, patience, and wise investment choices in the pursuit of financial success. In essence, these examples illustrate that financial well-being is not solely determined by one's income level, but rather by one's ability to effectively manage and grow their resources, regardless of their initial circumstances. It emphasizes the significance of financial literacy, discipline, and a strategic approach to wealth accumulation. Money serves as the lifeblood of modern society, indispensable for fulfilling our basic needs and aspirations. It is the driving force behind our daily endeavors, prompting us to engage in the labor market to secure financial stability. Warren Buffett's poignant observation, if you don't learn to make money while you sleep, you'll work until you die, underscores the importance of passive income and financial independence. Indeed, the ability to generate income passively is a hallmark of financial success liberating individuals from the relentless grind of traditional employment. However, achieving financial freedom entails more than just earning money. It requires a profound understanding of financial principles and prudent management of resources. To break free from the shackles of debt and attain the lifestyle of our dreams, we must cultivate financial literacy and adopt sound financial habits. This involves learning how to budget effectively, invest wisely, and diversify income streams to mitigate risk. Moreover, financial independence is not solely about personal enrichment. It empowers us to support our loved ones and contribute meaningfully to our communities. By mastering the art of wealth creation, we can uplift those around us, whether through philanthropy, entrepreneurship, or simply by setting a positive example. In essence, the pursuit of financial freedom is a journey marked by diligence, discipline, and strategic decision-making. By adhering to these key principles and continually expanding our financial knowledge, we can pave the way to a brighter, more prosperous future for ourselves and those we care about. Maintaining a zero balance in your bank account is not just about having no money left. It's a mindset that underscores the importance of living within your means. 
Simply having $50 in your account doesn't equate to having $50 to spend freely. This concept is fundamental to financial health because it shifts the focus from immediate gratification to long-term stability. Consider this Warren Buffett, despite being one of the wealthiest individuals globally, adheres to a modest lifestyle, living on approximately $100,000 per year. This example illustrates that true wealth isn't solely determined by income, but rather by prudent financial habits and wise decision-making. Conversely, if you earn $40,000 annually and spend every penny of it, you're essentially living paycheck to paycheck, regardless of your income level. This precarious financial situation leaves little room for emergencies or opportunities for savings and investment. By embracing a zero-balance mindset, individuals can break free from the cycle of financial constraint and pave the way for greater financial security and prosperity. It involves meticulous budgeting, disciplined spending, and prioritizing saving and investing for the future. Ultimately, it's not about how much you earn, but how effectively you manage and utilize what you have that determines your financial well-being. Avoiding a mindset centered on instant gratification and overspending is crucial for financial stability and long-term wealth building. One effective strategy is to adhere to the rule of five only consider purchasing an item if you could afford to buy five of them outright with cash. This approach encourages responsible spending and helps prevent impulsive purchases that can lead to debt. By applying the rule of five, you are forced to assess whether the item you desire is truly worth the cost and whether it aligns with your financial goals. This rule promotes mindful spending and encourages saving for larger, more meaningful purchases rather than succumbing to the allure of immediate gratification. Furthermore, embracing a mindset that avoids zero-balance thinking can greatly benefit your financial well-being. Zero-balance thinking refers to the idea that it's acceptable to spend all of your income leaving yourself with little to no savings or buffer for unexpected expenses. Instead, aim to maintain a healthy balance between spending and saving, ensuring that you have enough resources to cover your needs and build a secure financial future. Spending is a multifaceted aspect of personal finance, and one often overlooked dimension is the potential to fall into payment traps. While the allure of low prices can be strong, especially in a consumer culture that values bargains, it's important to recognize that sometimes these seemingly advantageous deals can backfire. For instance, individuals who consistently prioritize low prices may find themselves sacrificing quality or durability, leading to higher long-term costs as they need to replace items more frequently. Moreover, the pursuit of a lifestyle that appears affluent can sometimes lead to financial strain. Many people who project an image of wealth through their spending habits may not actually be as financially secure as they seem. This is akin to the concept popularized by Warren Buffett's analogy, only when the tide goes out do you discover who's been swimming naked. In other words, when economic circumstances change or financial challenges arise those who have been living beyond their means or relying on unsustainable financial practices are exposed. Therefore, it's crucial to prioritize financial stability and make informed decisions about spending. Rather than being swayed by short-term savings or the desire to keep up appearances, individuals should aim for long-term financial health. This includes cultivating a balanced approach to spending, focusing on value rather than just price, and building a solid financial foundation that can withstand the ebbs and flows of economic conditions. For example, when someone decides to purchase a Mercedes with monthly payments of $350, they often believe they can comfortably afford it. However, the affordability of monthly payments doesn't always reflect the ability to afford the car outright. This misconception can lead to overspending, as individuals fail to consider the total cost of ownership, including maintenance, insurance, and other associated expenses. Zero APR deals can further exacerbate this situation by creating a false sense of affordability. While the monthly installments may initially seem manageable, they can add up over time, potentially leaving the buyer with mounting debt. Additionally, zero APR deals often come with strict terms and conditions, such as a shorter repayment period or penalties for early repayment. 
which buyers may overlook in their eagerness to make the purchase. It's essential for individuals to carefully evaluate their financial situation and consider the long-term implications of their purchasing decisions. Understanding the true cost of ownership and avoiding the allure of seemingly affordable monthly payments can help prevent financial strain in the future. To avoid these traps, prioritize saving and investing. Don't fall into the trap of spending more money than you have or relying on credit cards to finance your lifestyle. By understanding these principles, you can avoid the pitfalls that keep people trapped in financial instability. Once you've mastered avoiding financial pitfalls and embraced a zero-balance mindset, you can shift your focus to the concept of compounding your money. Compounding is like a magical force that takes your money and grows it at an exponential rate. Whenever we have the opportunity to invest our capital, we aim to ensure that every investment, whether it's the partnership we initially embarked on, the orchard we currently own, or the blue chip stocks in our portfolio has the potential to compound our wealth. To achieve this, you need to grasp two words that Warren Buffett understands better than most assets and liabilities. Assets are things you own that put money in your pocket, such as dividend-paying stocks or real estate. On the other hand, liabilities are things you buy that take money out of your pocket, like the car you drive, the clothes you wear, or the latest smartphone. What distinguishes wealthy individuals from those who appear rich but aren't truly rich is their approach to assets and liabilities. While many people spend money on things that make them look wealthy, these items are often liabilities and don't contribute to long-term wealth. To truly become wealthy, you must prioritize acquiring assets that generate income. In doing so, you'll eventually reach a point where your assets produce enough cash flow to afford liabilities comfortably. Consider this example, someone I knew was in a good financial position and contemplating their next move. They were tempted to buy a flashy new car they had always desired. However, they were also intrigued by the principles of personal finance and wealth building. After reading several books on the subject, they realized that rich individuals, including Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, had significant investments in real estate. Inspired by this, my friend decided to purchase a small apartment complex instead of the car. After preparing the property for rental, they secured a tenant and began earning a $300 profit every month. This example illustrates how an asset can generate income while a liability, despite its allure, provides no return on investment. The beauty of compounding is that you don't need a large sum of money to get started. While real estate may require a substantial initial investment, you can begin building wealth through assets like dividend paying stocks with as little as $5 a day, week or month, depending on your comfort level. It's important to note that assets differ from keeping your money in a savings account where it barely grows. Your income is finite and you deserve the freedom to enjoy life without worrying about financial constraints. By allowing your money to work for you through assets, you can accelerate your wealth accumulation. The more money you invest in assets, the faster your wealth will grow, leading to financial freedom. One effective rule for leveraging the compounding effect is the 5 to 1 rule. For every $5 you spend on liabilities, invest $1 in assets. For example, if you spend $15 at Walmart, invest $3 in Walmart stock. If you spend $80 at Costco, invest $16 in Costco stock. Social media often portrays a glamorous lifestyle, leading many to believe that wealth is synonymous with luxury. However, the truth is that many people who appear wealthy on social media are actually drowning in debt. It's crucial to avoid succumbing to the pressure to maintain a flashy lifestyle. Take Warren Buffett, for instance. Despite his immense wealth, he avoids ostentation opting for simplicity in his clothing and living arrangements. By focusing on what truly matters in life and avoiding unnecessary expenses, you can build wealth more effectively. While it's easy to blame businesses for constantly vying for our money, the reality is that we all have a choice in what we purchase. Many people lack the discipline to differentiate between wants and needs, often spending money impulsively. By developing a filter and resisting the urge to buy unnecessary items, you'll find yourself feeling wealthier. With the extra money saved, you can start investing, further accelerating your wealth growth. To expedite your wealth building journey, consider ways to increase your income. Whether it's through pursuing a promotion at your current job or starting a side hustle, generating additional income can provide more capital for investment. By understanding the principles of asset ownership and income generation, 
you can grow your wealth rapidly and achieve the financial freedom to pursue your passions. Remember, as Warren Buffett famously said, predicting rain doesn't count, building arcs does.